with a new video. It's been so long. Um, I plan to do an update video, but right now I'm going to do a tag video that one of my good friends here on YouTube made, actually, and tagged me to do. So this video is called the My YouTube Experience Tag, and basically it's like seven questions to kind of get your background story on why you started YouTube, stuff like that. I had my channel for a while, and I didn't actually upload videos. I originally created my YouTube so that I could subscribe to other beauty gurus. I watched Candy Johnson, um, Ellen Blair, the sisters. I watched Julie G. Um, uh, I watched Dolce Candy. What is her name? I don't know. Something like that. And I watched... There's one more that I was like super into. And I like did... It. Oh, Jarmaine. Uh, Juice... What is her... J Loves Mac 1 or something. I like watched just them for a while and then I started watching other girls and somehow I came across um, Miss Tiffany Ma, I think is her channel name, and she was doing like a thousand subscriber, like a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And I remember at the time like thinking, oh my gosh, 1,000 subscribers, that's like so many. And now there's like, I'm friends with people that have like 100,000, which is crazy. But um, gosh, I'm like so excited, I can't even catch my breath. Um, and she was doing, like, a video giveaway thing where you had to, like, create a look and upload it to her video and stuff. And I remember, like, subscribing to her and she thanked me for subscribing and told me that I should enter her contest. And I, like, made videos to enter her contest and I never actually did because I was too scared. But I, like, filmed myself doing it. Um, and when she, like, told me to do a video, I was like, wow, I really could do a video. But I just, I didn't, I couldn't get the guts to do it. I started watching SMLXO here on YouTube, and she just seemed like a normal girl. Like, she would do videos in her dorm room, she was, like, insanely gorgeous, and she just seemed like someone I could actually be friends with, and I remember following her on Twitter, on my personal Twitter, before I made my Hey023, and, like, she was talking to, I want to say, like, the Mary Berry or someone like that, and they, like, were friends, and I was like, these girls are friends with each other. Like, that's awesome. That's so cool. And so, like, that was sophomore year of college for me. And I was honestly, like, in a not very good time. I was very lonely. Stefan was away at school. I felt like I had no friends. And so, really, I started my beauty channel so that I could meet people and, like, make friends and stuff. Uh, my channel was actually created, like, way, way, way long before I uploaded, like, my first video for my channel. My first video that I ever uploaded for my own channel, I believe, was uploaded on February 16th or 17th of 2011. So this February will be my second year anniversary with YouTube. After my first video, I felt so nervous and also really excited. Um, I specifically remember, like, I kept checking to see if anyone was watching my video or if anyone commented. And I remember hitting 17 views and I thought that that was like crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, 17 people watched me, which is it's funny now. But still, like, those 17 views, like, meant so much to me, and I was so excited, and I, like, became addicted right away. Like, I just wanted to keep doing videos, like, random videos about anything. I remember my first video was a how-to, the perfect nude lip, which is so embarrassing. Um, I don't, I don't, I think it's still on my YouTube, but I don't, it's, like, private in. I don't know, maybe I'll make it public just because of this video. I don't know, I'll have to go watch it and see. After uploading that first video and many other videos, I would definitely say that YouTube has changed me a lot as a person. Um, it's changed, like, the way that I think about certain things. I, I, I can't even, like, there's so many ways that it's changed me. Like, I am much more confident, like, not just in my own, like, looks, but in myself as a person. I feel like YouTube has helped me see, like, how mature of a person I am. Like, that sounds really dumb, but I've, like, learned how to handle, like, negative people and um, just, like, crappy things that comes along with making a YouTube and, like, putting yourself out there. And I know that the stuff that I've dealt with is not nearly as bad as the, some of the crap that other people have dealt with, but I feel like I handle myself very well in good and bad situations. And I think that YouTube has helped me see that, like, dealing with negative people and just certain situations like I'll see other gurus that like handle things and I'm just like that doesn't look good like you're it's not making your character look very well and I just feel like it's made me feel really proud of myself and like the way that I handle things and just my personality overall like 
when someone leaves a nasty comment, I feel like I handle it the right way. And I don't intentionally do it, but I look back or like I see other people handling things certain ways and I just I feel like a good person, if that makes any sense. So I feel a lot better about myself, like looks wise, of course, and then just myself as a person. I feel like it's really boosted my confidence in so many ways. Um, and then also it's changed me in the fact that like vlogs, I can like look back to certain parts of my life and I wouldn't have caught Stefan proposing on video if like YouTube wasn't a part of my life and it's so cool to like look back. I want to like burn all of my vlogs onto DVD so that I can watch them like years down the road. I think that's going to be so funny like once Stefan and I are married. And also YouTube has changed me in the way that I have gained so many friends from YouTube and it's crazy like there's people all around that I've met from like different states and different countries and like I always tell Stefan like there's some people you just have a connection with like you just have chemistry with and there's so many girls that I would never have met had it not been for YouTube and actually today one of my good friends is coming from Pennsylvania Amanda who is leopard pink love here on YouTube we've become like so good of friends and like she's gonna be one of my bridesmaids and had it not been for YouTube like I wouldn't even know that Amanda existed so it's definitely changed me YouTube started as a hobby for me um, like I said my main thing was like I just wanted to do something that occupied my time and I wanted to make friends um, and it still is a hobby definitely for me I know that it requires a lot of time and work but if you follow my channel, you know that I haven't made videos in months, like literally months and months and months since school started, really. I love YouTube and I love making videos and I've missed it so much that I just kind of like knew that it's a hobby and I have to choose school and like other things over YouTube. I don't want to say that I'll be making videos for years and years and years because I don't know uh, what the future holds and if when I get a teaching job, if I would be required to not do it anymore, I just, I don't know how people would feel about that. Um, so I don't know, but I would really like to, especially when Stefan and I uh, get married and live together, I feel like vlogs would be a lot of fun. Probably not every day like Judy and Benji, because that is crazy, but um, yeah, definitely I would love to do vlogs for sure for years and years and years. I'm so thankful for each and every one of the people that I'm subscribed to and like the people that subscribe to me. Honestly, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I mean, like that's dumb. I hate, sometimes I hate when people say that like, I'd be nowhere without you, but it's true. Like you guys have made me feel so confident in myself and like given me something to look forward to. I know like every time I upload a video that someone's gonna comment me saying something nice and even when there are bad comments, I'm thankful for that too because it's like turned me into such an awesome person I feel like and I don't know, I'm gonna get all sappy and weird here in a second. But yeah, I would just like to thank all of my friends here on YouTube, all my subscribers. Um, I want to thank everyone that inspired me to do YouTube videos, everyone that ever left me a sweet comment, everyone that has been asking me to make videos since I've been gone. Like, honestly, just knowing that you guys, like, still want to watch my videos is, like, so sweet and, like, so humbling. YouTube has been such a humbling experience. There's so many people that have way more subscribers than me, but, like, I have 10,000 some subscribers now, and that's just insane to me. And... I don't know, I feel like I'm very humbled by that. You guys mean the world to me, like, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate each and every one of you, and, like, I feel like you're all my friends. Like, that's crazy to say that I have 10,000 and some friends, but I really view you guys, like, as my friends, and so I think it's so funny when people tweet me and are like, I can't believe you responded, I can't believe you followed me on Twitter, and it's like, why wouldn't I? Like, I'm just a normal person. YouTube has been very humbling, and I can't thank you enough for the experience. So, that is it for this My YouTube Experience tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will tag people below, and anyone I mentioned their um, channels will be below also. And thank you to Emily for creating this and mentioning me and tagging me. And, yeah, I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, everyone.